Right, so hello viewers, and welcome back to Isomer. So, um, continuing off of episode 1, we had explored the nearby areas around our ship, namely, we had found this gigantic structure, and I think it's some sort of warehouse for these, uh, what I want to say are oil barrels here. And, well, unfortunately, we lost quite a few people exploring this uh, ship here, and in the meantime, I wanted to do some experimenting with the, sh with the, uh, the game, because unfortunately, there aren't say too many uh, or rather too many document documentation pieces around here and there and namely I wanted to um, I wanted to find some ways so that we can farm biomass and buy some more troopers here and there but uh, unfortunately that was kind of counterproductive and when I uh, close the game I, I usually alt tab and just right click the game and close it it saved over the file so now we um, we have this thing in the middle of our ship here so anyhow one of the things that you can build inside the game is I'm gonna unpause it right here, but uh, you can build a. It's gonna take me quite a lot of time to scroll in through this list, but you can build a biomass seed plant. And to uh, to the best of my knowledge, going off of a form post here, this thing produces uh, seedlings, or in general, some sort of like harvestable stuff. Think of like wheat from Minecraft in a five by five area around it. And with that said, I uh, I wanted to test it out, and well, I. I thought I was under the impression that the uh, the enemies will attack this, being a, a horrifically uh, horrifying to look at, uh, you know, foreign plant and all. Um, so I placed it inside the middle of our ship here, and afterwards I heard that um, a it works better depending on which type of gr uh, uh, tiles that you place it on. So with that said, I'm I'm wondering whether or not it will grow inside the middle of our ship here because. Um, currently I mean costs 50 biomass so it's not exactly cheap and at the same time uh, there's no real easy way that I can build uh, rather this or take it down and refund our costs here of building it I can mine it out but it, it would it wouldn't um, rather it doesn't seem to actually you know refund us the costs there so so yeah that's kind of a problem and this might be a very very short let's play because of it but hopefully not um so I mean, with that said, it's kind of a startling issue for sure, but I think it's one that we can get around, provided that we play our cards right. And well, with that said, what I think we'll do here is that I haven't noticed our guys on the very top of our ship uh, do much in terms of shooting down at enemies. So I'm going to post the vast majority of our, of our forces down here. And namely, I'm going to build a few things that should help us out here inside the long run. Um, starting off, I'm going to issue our guys a few mining orders just to uh, dig out these uh, cactus tiles. I want to harvest the biomass from the terrain, and I believe if you harvest these cactuses, you have a chance, or cacti, for, for people who are, you know, really stingy about that. I believe you have the chance of getting some biomass from them. It's a, it's a randomly, it's going to be a, a roll for sure, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with those. And well, continuing off of there, another thing that we can do here is that I'm going to build a yet another one of these, um, what are they called again, miniature power cores um, for the purpose of building a healing totem. And this healing totem will make it so that we don't have to spend those uh, two points of biomass to heal up our guys when we're in close proximity. Oh, yikes, that was an was ambush. Couldn't pause the game in time. So with this healing totem, hopefully we can heal up our guys, assuming that they don't blow it up themselves. And really just uh, go forwards from there. Right, so there we go. We're going to <laughs> have to get rid of these uh, guys around here and rebuild that healing totem. But luckily, I mean, it doesn't cost any resources that we can't find around here. And this should just gradually heal up our, our troops over here. Yeah, and it's doing its job. So, um, going from there, what I think I'll do to minimize the collateral damage is that I'll surround this healing totem with a few blocks just to make sure that hopefully nobody else shoots it again. And, uh, 
really hold out here for some time. Hopefully we can just seal this thing off. Later on, we might, uh, we might be able to fix this area up so that it might look, say, a little bit better. But I think in the meantime, that'll have to do. And we can, <laughs> I guess we can get some guys to stand on top of there and uh, shoot down at our foes to do some damage, amongst other things. And uh, really go off of that. So there we go, we'll just grab these guys, get some more biomass from them, and it looks like we got a decent bunch from there. I'm gonna do something that's kind of risky, but it doesn't look like those cactuses, or cacti again, seem to be... They, they don't seem to generate a ton of biomass, if any. So with that said, I'm gonna leave off, I'm gonna see whether or not we can hopefully find a forest biome that's fairly close by, and see whether or not there are any resources there we can mooch off of. So the great adventure begins, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find the uh, the promises of this forest here, or else we are uh, going to be looking at a very very short two or three episode let's play here. Um, the other thing is that one of our guys here, the sole survivor of the uh, the expedition to that factory slash warehouse location, has now leveled up, and in an XCOM fashion, he's gotten a few very minor, although uh, these stat bonuses will of course build up over time, and he will become quite a formidable worker, able to defend himself, and uh, also, to from the looks of it, um, let's see, what was he, there we go mine a little bit faster, recover a little bit more uh, biomass than the usual guy there. Ooh, yikes. It looks like we found another one of those uh, human structures, one that I'm not too keen about going into right now. So I think we'll move away and we'll explore in this direction for a little bit of time. Hmm. And I don't think, um, yeah, it looks like we're going a little too far away from our uh, holdings over here. So I'll get these guys back because we, of course, do need them for defense. And uh, yeah, really just go forward from here. Hopefully this um, this plant over here actually does grow inside the uh, the base here. Albeit, um, I would, I'd, I'd be fine with it growing slower than usual. And would you look at that, it looks like the, uh, the little healing totem here is able to heal up our guys faster than um, the enemies can shoot at us, so overall it looks like that's working pretty well, and they uh, they seem to have quite a nice um, defensive location there, and it looks like they can, we can uh, farm a few uh, enemy kills from there. And you know what, I think we'll start off again, we'll try this mining thing once more. So, um, with that said, I'm going to selectively mine the, the tiles with the, uh, the cacti on top of them. So, with that said, I think I have to queue up that individually, and we'll see whether or not these things actually give any uh, biomass, if at all. Hopefully they do. And if not, I think we'll just get, um, yeah, quite a lot of experience for our miners, at least, going from here. And let's see whether or not that, um, that does anything. Oh, thanks. That is not good. We need all of these guys to start shooting at this um, guy right there. Look at that barrage of bullets cutting them down. So there. Oh, hey! We got two biomass over there for doing something. Oddly enough, it looked like we just walked over some, um, some tile somewhere. Hmm. Could it be these spots? The, uh, the, 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 sh the areas of, um,. Sand that seemed to be slightly darker than the other ones. Let's see. None of our guys seem to uh, want to walk over that tile, so I had to issue them a command on their their own like that. Now that didn't do it, but something inside this area did definitely give us two biomass. Um, so it looks like I'll have to review the footage to check that. What could it be here? Yeah, let's just look at that. The game's teasing us. We can buy so many warriors and so many workers right now. If only we had the biomass uh, to do so. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's the... Um, those white rock-like things on the ground over there. Maybe it's that. But, you know, I'm not too sure about it either way. That guy is actually taking quite a lot of damage. No, I want these guys to fire at this person. There we go. 
try to get this guy to retreat here. And would you look at that, when we want him to move, he doesn't, but when we don't want him to move and shoot, he does. Really odd part right there, but I mean, it's a... It's a small fl it's a small uh, area of the game where I think they could do a bit of work on. But nonetheless, because it's a possible system, we can uh, fix that up. But unfortunately, it looks like that'll cost us two bio uh, mass right there. Now, I'm gonna see whether or not we can um, hopefully mine out some of the areas around here and see what we get from doing so. So namely, I think this guy will just heal up by itself, and I think we'll designate some group mining orders. Namely, I see all of this stuff inside this area, which are uh, of course made up of various different um, tiles. I want to see which at ones out of the, uh, the few over there do give us biomatter. Well, maybe we just found a body somewhere. what I think it is? Indeed it is! Somebody is trying to break into the power core room. It's, uh, it's one of those pesky engineer people again. Just look at that, the wall is uh, breaking down on this tile, so we'll hopefully um, set up a defense in time here and really give this guy a surprise when he breaks through that wall. There we go. Managed to shoot him down, grab his corpse, some more biomass, a lovely lovely stuff there. And we'll just rebuild that tile and get this guy to that healing totem thing. Get him to heal up and I'm gonna replace him with this guy who is already fully healed. So we're out no biggie there and we're starting to build up more biomass so later on we'll be able to... God damn it, it's, they're doing it again. It's the same, it's, it's a different person, and it's in the same location too. We just built that. Well, anyhow, we'll get rid of that guy. It looks like those engineers, they will, while they can destruct uh, tiles, they don't seem to be terribly strong in the gunfights. So hopefully one guy will be enough to finish him off, and this guy actually took no damage while uh, shooting at this guy. So that's a nice and easy one biomass, two rare minerals. So I'll take that, and I think we'll just rebuild that area. Speaking about minerals, it looks like we're actually getting um, kind of short on those. So here we go, I think I'll designate a few individual mining orders just to um, get our guys over here. To mine out a few of these tiles here and there and grab these lovely resources for us to use. And we're so close, we need another 10 bio uh, mass to build another one of those seed generating things. So hopefully this time we can pluck it outside here. It'd be even better if we could find, say, some sort of uh, region with uh, dirt instead of sand, because I'd imagine it looks better over there. And uh, really just go off of that. But in the meantime, I think, uh, yeah, we do need to fill up our resource pool here of minerals. So this should be a quick way to do that. Now the main thing here is that I want to ball up my guys so that in the event that we get attacked like such, or rather uh, over here we get attacked, all of our guys can fire off. With these healing totems from the looks of it, I mean, we can just get our guys to stand on top or near them, and f yeah, the, the little troopers will fend off the, the people by themselves practically with, uh, with no regard to aim. So at least that's good. And would you look at that, 43 biomass. So overall, uh, things on that front look like they're going pretty well. I apologize guys for, for the slowdown here, it's just I really didn't expect to get... Like, see there, we picked up some more biomass, but I'm not really sure why or uh, where that came from. And it doesn't, yeah, it didn't look like there's some guy on the ground there. It might be again one of these like white stone things, but I don't, yeah, I don't think it does it every single time. So maybe, maybe it's only a selective thing. Anyhow, if, does that mean if we just move around the map here, we'll have a chance to pick up biomass just as is? Hmm. Well, I guess it rewards exploration in that sense, but at the same time, it does, of course, bring up the issue in um, being kind of a finicky system. But that, but that might not be for certain, so we'll... Um, 
we'll just leave off with it for now. Or rather, we'll just uh, summon up the chance for now. Hopefully it does occur a few more times, I'd really like that. And there we go, we can grab some more stuff like that. You know, sp thinking about it, it looks like there are actually two types of rocks here. There are these um, these pebbles, if you will. And there's also some of the, the black stuff over here. Maybe the, uh, the black stuff might be, I don't know, something that grants uh, biomass. Hopefully it is. We'll test it though, because of course um, we're still learning the game. We're still checking it out, so we might as well do so. That is not good. It's like, oh, yikes. It's actually one of these red enemies as well. So those guys are pretty tough to take out. So what I think we'll do here is that we'll ball up our troops. And dang, I didn't, um, I didn't see whether or not we reached that uh, tile or not. So we'll see what we can do about taking out this guy as a group. Hopefully, since he, from the looks of it, he's patrolling down here, we might be able to ambush him using this height to our advantage, and in general, the uh, the setting over here doesn't seem to see us just yet. Come on. Our guy should really start to uh, fire at him. There we go. Yeah, I guess to just make up for the uh, the problems with like the moving slash uh, where the, the where the game prioritizes moving over shooting, you can issue a face command and. Um, move forwards like that to get the thing to work and there we picked up four biomass off of something as well it might be these pebbles actually i wasn't sure again as to what was on this tile hmm. so that's kind of um yeah that's kind of weird but uh, it works nonetheless and now we have enough resources to buy another one of those weird plant things so let's see how that goes and we'll just buy a new one we'll pluck it out here in the um, near the healing totem so that we can get line of sight near it and um we'll just really go from there so it's quite an expensive investment but i think it's worth our time provided that it uh it functions as intended and I think I'll just pluck it out here over um, in the distance, not by too much, not to the extent that in which uh, we can't protect it, but just close enough so that we can get its effect and hopefully uh, reap the rewards from it. And what I think I'll do to protect it is um, I'm going to spend the last remaining bits of biomass that we have on a few of these lamp posts. The reason being is that during the night I'd imagine that this area will be quite hard to defend and these uh, these night posts will provide us a bit of an accuracy bonus if you shoot things in the dark. There is, I think the, the accuracy values are, hel are uh, helved for, for those. And yeah, from the looks of it, I mean this one inside the um, the ship doesn't actually work as well. Because what can what what we can do now is that we can harvest these tiny little things on the ground right here and we can pick up biomass like that. So it would be yeah, it'd be definitely great if they told you that right off the bat. But um, I mean at least we figured out that it would worked and now I think we have a, a semi steady source of biomass, at least for now, so that's good. Um, so overall, yeah, that'll just work, do its thing. It'll produce more and more of those little, uh, I don't know what they're called, seedlings, I guess. And they'll they'll grow like uh, like the wheat inside Minecraft, and we can just farm them up as such. So um, in the meantime, I think we can do some uh, some base renovations, perhaps, amongst other things, and um, really go off there. We might even build a giant wall around our base here because it looks like we can probably use some of the elements from this um, structure to help us out with that. And we can build a wall to just give us a, a fort, if you will, um, to, to hopefully give us a yard here where we can grow things as well in to um, ultimately farm stuff as well. Right, in the meantime, I think I'll just get our guys to stand up here and um, just really look cool, I guess. Really want these guys to heal up. Ah, actually, they're all healed up now, so that's good. Right. So mm, let's see what we can do. You know what? I think we will build ourselves a little fort here. And what I mean by that is, if we build a wall of just these structure blocks, we should be able to give ourselves a bit of a defensive barrier over the uh, the humans here. 
it isn't going to be the most prettiest thing that we see for sure, but I think the uh, the utility in having it for now overweighs any um, any other complaints. Right, so here's what we'll do. We'll get the wall to, to just effectively be built like such. We can actually give uh, group building orders as well, but currently I'm going to do it one by one just because I, I want to keep track of how much resources we use and in general I don't want to take off too many people from this defensive line. The other thing is that I'm going to get some of our guys to mine out these stone tiles slash boulders and I'm, I'm going to uh, grab some of the stone from it because from the looks of it we'll need um, quite a lot of stone in building this defensive wall and all. So there we go, we built over the first layer here and overall 